Hello, this is not a spring chicken. I think it's look a little bit different. It might be because we're getting ready for the Cannes Film Festival. In fact, today started our day one. Yes, for our Cannes Film Festival coverage, which begins May 16th through the 27th. Meanwhile, I guess there is other news going on besides the world of entertainment. Well, okay, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. And after J.P. Morgan, Obama uses that as an excuse to overhaul the banking industry. Yeah, Obama wants to, to, uh, to save the banks in the country for the American people. Right now, the banks are not making loans to the American people. They're afraid of this president and the Democratic Party. So with his threats that he's going to bust up the banks to even make it more difficult for people to get loans, it is basically scaring the hell out of the market and the banks are collapsing. I mean, well, we can guarantee you that we had a problem with the bank this morning. I know. Actually, they would receive all your money, yeah, but if you wanted money, you had to go to a different bank. Yeah, and uh, it means that there's, uh, their bank has got a problem. But, uh, and, uh, but there were banks that did not take money from Obama, and he wants those banks under his control. J.P. Morgan didn't take money from Obama. Mm -hmm. So but he wants to crush J.P. Morgan. J.P. Morgan lost no bank's money. J.P. Morgan is also a brokerage firm. It lost brokerage money. And as the one person did say you know, to the people, basically, how can you tell the, the Fox people are basically kissing the rear of the president? We need to break those banks up. We need to teach those banks a valuable lesson. Well, no. The bank had nothing to do with the losses. It was a brokerage firm. They made basically what it amounted to, they got grand theft charges against a broker. He, he pushed a button that made $2 billion in deals Ill, without permission to do it. So that's, that's criminal misconduct. You cannot do anything about criminal misconduct. It's a, which Obama, well, we can, if we take charge of the banks for the American people, that won't happen. And Christians rejoice, frown at Obama gay marriage stance. Oh, I know. Um, it, it, it's, uh, you know, it, it, Obama basically screwed up. He, okay, here's a problem which the President of the United States cannot get through his head. People lie to pollsters. And, okay, there are 38 straight losses on the, to, the, uh, to the right on gay marriage, but the people in the United States firmly believe in gay marriage and gay rights then why have they lost 38 consecutive votes? Because they lie to the posters. And second reason, if you want to say people support gay marriage, you go to an area where you know they support gay marriage and you take your poll there. Mm -hmm. Say you got a liberal city, uh, say you got a southern city in North Carolina. Um, so you go to a, an area in the city you know that supports gay marriage, you take your poll there and you find out that people of North Carolina firmly support gay marriage, and then they voted it down on a three to one basis, which was a disaster. I mean, and Obama camp tweaks Bin Laden argument less I and the more we. Oh, I know. They have decided that uh, having him stand on the top of the stage and saying, I gave permission, I decided this should be done. I, you know, uh, okay, Obama has his military people all out. You know, if it hadn't have been for this president's stuff, if this president hadn't have been a leader, this president hadn't done this, well, okay, what has happened is Obama has canned one general after another that hasn't agreed with him. Mm. And basically, um, okay, if you'd have had the old line generals around, they would have told this president to take a flying hike and they'd have forced Obama to, to, uh, to publicly not fire somebody because he violated, you know, well, he doesn't think that I, he doesn't want to do what I think should be done, which is to surrender to the Taliban. And therefore, if he doesn't want to surrender his, his army in the field to the Taliban, he's got to go so I can find someone who would surrender the army to the Taliban. Mm -hmm. So they should be forcing Obama to publicly can him. And then when he publicly cans him, they then can speak out against what he's doing. And five killed in Syria's increasingly restive Aleppo. Oh, yeah. They're all of a sudden... <laughs> Uh, Al Qaeda is moving into Syria now. <laughs> then you know who they can thank to the uh, Muslim extremists moving into the Syrian, mm -hmm. our president, because mm -hmm. he basically was supporting the Muslims who basically wanted to overthrow a Muslim government. The reason why the Muslim country, the stable countries are stable, is because they got dictatorships. 
when you throw the dictatorship out, the vacuum is always filled by the uh, Muslim extremists. And Egypt military detains hundreds following violence. Yep, they're the people that um, don't want the. Uh, they're the ones that don't want the Muslim Brotherhood put in charge of Egypt because they know it's going to lead to a war. They've never won a war with the uh, with the Israelis. I mean, I remember an old thing um, that Bill Cosby used to talk about. You know, he'd talk about that the the Egyptians have the best Soviet tanks ever made. Three speeds forward, 14 speeds in reverse. <laughs> and Murdoch's scandal follows classic media baron script. Well, it's ridiculous, folks. The guy owns the company. The guy founded the company. He owns the company. He's the majority stockholder of the company. So therefore, uh, it doesn't make him... A, it means that he's following the script as, well, eventually, the new media will finish them all off. Well, he's like a lot of old people. He believes heavily in the old world. The old world no longer exists. And uh, they're, they're trying to put everything that happened in the terms of the old world, like they were hacked. Well, no, they weren't. You know, uh -huh. they were basically that you picked up information the old-fashioned way, which was you pay informants. But today, so when he says, I, I don't understand what you're talking about hacking, there was no hacking done. But he's paying people off because criminals made wiretaps on people's phones. Our, criminal, our people basically listened into conversations. First of all, a, a conversation on a cell phone is not private according to our own court system. Mm-hmm. And Peru says, stay off beaches after mass bel pelican deaths. Well, yeah. But, um, you, you figure that there's a reason for them dying. They're eating the fish out there. If there's something in the water, oh, they stay that must the water. be what it is. Yeah. And Yahoo in talks to sell 15 to 25% of Alibaba. Yeah, but, well, <laughs> since that was done, they, the chairman of the board, is, or the head of the company quit. Oh, yeah. And, and the board of directors is now changed because... They Are you talking about like, Yahoo or Alibaba? No, they own Alibaba. Yeah, that's what I thought. And the, no, but Yahoo basically has a massive turnover. And as of a few hours ago, the entire company has been turned upside down. They said, here's a good one. They think they're going to hire somebody to be the head of the company that has experience in multimedia. <gasps> not, a, not a guy that... I read a book and this is how it's done. They're appointing people that basically are intellectuals that have written books and studied about economics. Well, in the words of the people over at Digital Hollywood, nobody knows what the hell is going to work. Mm -hmm. I know, even they all admit it. That's right. It's kind of, here's one of the things with social media, and some of it is just a constant tweaking. That's right. And the UK forced, urged to force firms to report carbon emissions. I know. It, it, they're hung up on car stuff. Here's the trick is, if you don't believe in global warning, you're ostracized from the universe. I'm going to tell people, you want to learn about global warming, go watch the History Channel, go watch the Discovery Channel, or go watch public broadcasting, and they'll tell you global warming is a natural thing of the universe. They're now saying that, the, that there were so many dinosaurs at one time, because of the methane they were producing, it may have resulted in, the, in global warming. And... Here's a good one. Methane is a gas that basically becomes flammable. Lots of dinosaurs, lots of methane, and there's a great big fireball that killed a whole bunch of things on the planet. Dinosaurs, methane, methane's flammable, lots of volcanic activity. Mm -hmm. Could there have been a simple gas reaction that ended up with the destruction of dinosaurs? Oh. And Black Farmer's quest for justice draws to a close. Oh yeah, then we have to give people... Uh, Anybody know of an Indian sitting in this room? Oh, who would that be? Uh, yeah. Well, I'm going, my family was one of those people that from the Black Hills of Dakotas. I get Mount Rushmore after the president become, after the president uh, had the re-election in the fall, he's going to basically enforce the rules to turn over the United States back to its indigenous natives. And my, you know, the family members I have left, we're claiming Mount Rushmore is ours. Ah, oh. yeah. And Biden on gay marriage, absolutely comfortable. No, he's not. He's a Roman Catholic and basically was one of the supporters of the Defense of Marriage Act. He basically knows he's not going to be the nominee for the for the VP, so he basically sent Obama down there. Obama did not want to get involved with this until the election, you know, until he got the nomination. Then he was going to come on the floor and do a speech on gay rights on the floor, and that didn't go well because. 
as Obama is finding out, people lie when they support when they say they support gay marriage. Animozzi bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Actually, we can re rephrase that. People lie. 